You've got some beautiful pictures staying in Cumbria tonight. I have. Let's get right into it, shall we? This one was sent in by our weather watcher in Cumbria. Thank you so much, Johnny. Absolutely stunning sunrise picture. Goes with my dress as well, doesn't it? Um, and um, we've also seen equally lovely conditions in parts of um, off the border of Greater Manchester and West Lancashire. Thank you, Brian Fisher, for sending this picture in. Such a lovely burst of colour. And um, despite that, we did get some showers in places. But at the moment, tomorrow does look a lot drier and uh, today was quite breezy as well but tomorrow as ever not as breezy as it has been today now let's just take a quick look at the pressure chart we did have a cold front moving in and that's what brought us some of that rain today but of course we've got high pressure and that will continue to move in from the west over the next few days should be largely dry but i think on friday this cold front could bring us some showers First tonight, any remaining showers will continue to move off, leaving dry conditions and clay spells, particularly along the coast. The clouds will feed in towards dawn, potentially some showers in places, temperatures down to four degrees Celsius, not as cold as last night, but nevertheless a rather cool start. And then tomorrow we'll see some rather uh, quite pleasant conditions, actually some sunshine and then also some um, those clouds clearing at times, temperatures probably getting to highs of around 16 or 17 degrees Celsius with a gentle breeze Roger. so that will mean you'll get more lovely pictures tomorrow probably. i know it's not me though so i'm a bit jealous oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> i'm it's not a... doing the weather tomorrow so i'm really jealous about that but... do you know some of the weather watcher pictures are wonderful aren't they? i know yeah, yeah i always yeah. say very very impressed <laughs> and thank you for watching have a lovely evening bye bye